Hello, I am Tim Vahil. I am producer and game designer at Isotex, and I'm going to tell you a bit more about our new product, March of War. March of War is a turn-based strategy game, which uh, players are going to play across our world in different factions, and they're going to use big-ass tanks, elephants, all kinds of weird war machines we came up with. You can probably see already some previews on our website. Uh, with this series of videos, we're going to show you some behind the scenes, how we created this game, how we came up with the wacky war machines in our world, and of course the big special effects and particle effects that you see in our game. By the way, thank God our office is still standing. Uh, so I hope you guys will enjoy this. Please like, share and subscribe us or else. Uh, that doesn't happen if they have a unit in the type in the radius with you. So in this case, nothing happens. Yes. Until one yeah. of them dies. Hi, I'm Tom. Um, I've been working on a paper prototype for um, an upcoming game we're working on at the moment, and I'd uh, like to tell you a little bit about that. Um, yeah, the paper prototype itself, we've just basically uh, drawn up some uh, maps on paper and we've got some uh, counters and bits and pieces from various board games and uh, we've been using them to actually uh, try out different rules and things and uh, try out the basics of how the game will work. Um, since it's going to be turn-based, that works quite well for a, a, a paper test like this. Um, so we can try out like the different strengths of units, different uh, attack powers, uh, abilities uh, and that kind of thing. Hi, my name is Nikki Pale Bessi. I'm a level designer at Isotex, and I'm currently working on a paper prototype of our new game. I think paper prototyping is useful because it's a quick way to determine whether the core mechanics of a game is actually fun, and if the systems that we design, if they work together, and if they're, you know, it's basically just a quick way of saying, okay, this is going to be cool or not. And with the paper prototype, you have lots of freedom to immediately change some things and then test it out and just keep adding to it and, and yeah, adjust and tweak it to see if it's fun or not. The basic goal of the game is uh, obviously to capture these points. These uh, points? All yep. of these? Mm -hmm. Yep, as many as possible, um, you, which you do by moving your units inside these areas here. Okay. When you have a unit in there and I don't have one in there, you'll capture the point at the end at the start of your next turn. Uh, you just played against Tom, yeah, uh, for the first time. That's for the first time, yeah. He won with luck. So yeah. You think he cheated? Um. Yeah, I'm tempted to say yes, but uh, yeah, I uh, I'm a man of great sportsmanship, so uh, made the best win and he won. So I beat him in a lot of other games where he is not able to set his own rules. And uh, come on, I didn't even know that there is like this artillery strike ability, so I like crop my units uh, all together, and then he, will, he was like, oh, well, I'll use my artillery strike, from which I even didn't know that it exists, so kind of unfair, don't you think? Uh, playing versus Tom uh, was actually very, uh, well, I, I, I'm not a big fan of losing. <laughs> I'm quite a sore loser, so he won every game. That was quite uh, frustrating at times, but um, actually... Uh, Do you think he cheats? Maybe. He might have cheated on some turns, that he might have added some more resources, or maybe when I didn't look at the board that he moved a unit an extra tile. I don't know. Um, in most of the games so far, I've, uh, I've actually won all of them, but of course, with like a game that's in progress, uh, <laughs> You can't be sure whether it's uh, the rules or uh, personal skill, but um, I like to think it's mainly personal skill. <laughs> I don't need to change the rules in order to win. 